The zookeeper doesn't feed the gorilla the food of the polar bear. Am I right? right? But how come we eat the food of everybody? Honor thy mother and thy father that thy days may be long upon the land. That's in the Bible, isn't it? But how could we honor our mother and our fathers when we don't even know what they were about? You don't tell that to an elephant to honor his mother because when he's born, he follows his mother and watch what his mother eats. Do you and I know what our mothers ate in Africa? We don't know. Yet we dialogue. We dialogue on this level of intelligence because I know Plato. I know Aristotle. I know all about Diogenes. But you don't know what your mama ate. Roughly speaking, Africa. Way over here we put America. They are 4,500 miles. What happened between hair and hair? A lot happened. You see, when we were hair, without the mathematics, without the ABC, without the sciences, when we were hair, we had something to our advantage that we no longer have hair. We are blind hair. Hair we weren't. We were seeing. Why? Because God provided us with everything we needed here. And none of it was comfrey or rice and beans. There were no tofu. There were no soy there. There were no cows. And there were no hogs, no chicken. There were no flour. Those things didn't come from Africa. You see rice and beans and flour and cheese and meat and the starch that you eat, they all came from right here, from a laboratory. Now, for us to eat, you have to have in your big skull the understanding of biochemistry. But when we were here, we didn't have to know anything about biochemistry. Why? Because God doesn't make poisons. You see, God doesn't make carrots. Well, let me put it here. Stop the garbage. Anytime someone tells you that tofu is good for you, that someone that just gave that information to you has one eye open. Anything that has a pH of 7 plus is alkali. Anything that has less, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, is acid. Spinach. Acid. But since we were compromised, we left all our food in Africa. You and I don't even know what we ate in Africa. Anything that God made is on the alkali side. Why? The molecular structure is complete. It was made by nature, not man. Anything that God made has no starch. That's another thing. Anything that nature makes has no starch. Anything that man made has to have starch because starch is a binder. To titrate two unequal chemicals, you have to use a starch. Starch is not a food. Starch is a chemical. And what have we been eating since they took us away from Africa? Starch and blood. Starch and blood. We didn't eat blood in Africa. Gorilla doesn't eat blood. He leaves and buries. <laughs> but gorillas are sane. 
They listen to each other and they have a society well put together. Guess what I found? I found that the herb that everybody is talking about is acid and everybody is using it. What herb is that? Come free! To say what? I said yes. It's on the acid side. And so is rose hips. Enchilesia. What about golden seal? That's right. Golden seal was made. It's like the stick that you put in your mouth. They call what? What do they call it? The chew stick. What do they call it? Liquid stick. Everybody have liquid stick in their mouth, right? But liquid stick was made. It has 50 times more sugar than does sugar itself. It has glycerinic acid. You see, we didn't have to study biochemistry in Africa because everything we had there was on the alkali side. So we could eat anything. But when they brought us here, mm hmm, you know, put some clothes on now. <laughs> and after they put the clothes on you, come here, boy, you got to get in front of this classroom. You have to learn this ABC stuff. But hold it now. Gorilla doesn't take the cubs to be trained by polar bears. Gorillas train her own cubs. The gorilla way.